Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the world's smallest fountain pen alongside of one of the largest pens the LE Waterman Company ever made, which is the number 20. So let's get right into it. So last week I went to the Orange County Pen Club. We had our little meetup and there I picked up this, which is the world's smallest fountain pen. But before I get into that, let's check out a little recap of how the day went. Here in this box is the pen. And for comparison, I have a Waterman number 20. It's the largest production fountain pen that the LE Waterman company ever made. It's this massive number 10 size nib. There you go. Massive feed, it is an eyedropper. Unscrew the whole section here. And there, <laughs> just fill the whole thing up with ink. This pen is made out of hard rubber, so black chase hard rubber. There you go, Waterman's registered United States Patent Office. Once again, is the largest production fountain pen they ever made. They did make one that was larger and it was like a demonstrator. And this, the world's smallest pen, was not a production model. It's often called the doll pen because there's one in Queen Mary's dollhouse, but this was a salesman sample. So a salesman would walk into a pharmacy or a jewelry shop and would try and get a new account it would say would you like to see the world's smallest fountain pen and they would open up the box and they would display the world's smallest fountain pen i just love the little box too here it is the world's smallest fountain pen they might there might be a world's small uh, fountain pen that is smaller than this one but what's crazy about this one is it is a completely functional piece has a clip, I wouldn't dare try using it. This whole thing is only 41 millimeters in length, capped. Read where it says Waterman's Ideal Fountain Pen New York. It is a slip cap eyedropper. There's this tiny little 14 karat gold nib. There's nothing on the nib itself. You can see the little clip cap on there on the Ideal. But to show you, it has little tiny threads. You can actually unscrew the threads. And I guess if you had a little ink syringe, you could fill that up. I am not going to fill it up. I am instead gonna do a little writing sample with it just by dipping it into some ink. But they would, uh, yeah, they would pull out, like, look what we're capable of making. Here's the world's smallest fountain pen. It is a fully functional fountain pen. And then they would also bring it out in tandem with the number 20. My comparison here is a Kaveco Sport. And there it is next to the Kaveco Sport. So very, 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 very small. And just for fun, here is a Lamy 2000. Give you an idea of just how small this thing is. 41 millimeters or 4.1 centimeters in length. It's like an inch and a half, something like that. And posted, I can actually write with it pretty well. So we will do a little writing sample with this and the number 20. For this writing sample, we're gonna use Waterman Paris Tender Purple. All right, we're gonna start off with the Waterman's number 20. 
It's actually bigger than an Amiki Emperor I got from my friend Scott. Lots of ink. <laughs> Man, it's such a big pen. It's crazy. And now we're going to compare this to the world's smallest fountain pen. Zero, zero, zero. It is a salesman sample. Or doll pen. And there is absolutely no flex on this thing. And why would you even try? But it writes. And this is circa 1910. I just think it's so crazy that you can write with it. If you really wanted to, you can write with it. Uh, I know this isn't really a great comparison because it's a gigantic pen with a gigantic nib versus the tiniest little pen with the tiniest little nib. But it's amazing that they these things are this old. This is 112 years old and it still writes, it still works. And it's not lost and you know, if you put this in your pocket and it's gone forever. Someone took really good care of this thing and it's just an amazing little piece. And I'm super proud to own it, uh, especially for someone who's trying to make a museum someday of Waterman's things. This is one of those things I absolutely needed. World's smallest versus world's largest. <laughs> nah, it's not the world's largest. Monte Grappa made a, a pen that was much larger than this, but super crazy cool. I know this pen came in uh, two other types. There, there was a cardinal red version of this pen, and there is a safety version of this pen. The safety version is a little bit longer. I think it's five centimeters in length, and it's a little bit thicker. As for the number 20, it came in smooth. It came in silver overlay. There's a cardinal one. They made the size from like the early teens all the way up to the, the 20s. This is a later model from around 1925, but just really, really cool pieces. Crazy thing is uh, these cost about the same. They're just so rare. Both of them are just super rare and I'm proud to own both of these. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. If you have any questions, go and leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and check out my Instagram at Craig Rocanova. I also started my new waterman museum instagram i'm calling it 173 broadway and check out all of my cool waterman collectibles that i've picked up over the last year so thanks so much you guys we'll see you in the next video all right peace <laughs>